It's Tuesday, March 22nd. How's it going, guys? I'm Justin Finch. And on today's show, find out how earthquake victims in Japan are staying in touch with family and friends. And in honor of Women's History Month, we'll tell you how young people are helping girls around the world follow in the footsteps of some famous women. Channel One News starts right now. The news team's all here with big stories from all over the world, and Gary, take it away. Well, Justin, I have an update on the situation in Libya where fighting continues. We told you the U.S. and its allies launched attacks on Libyan military targets. Part of Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi's residential compound was hit by a bomb. His compound had been a target because the U.S. says Libya's military command center is located there. We are so far achieving our military objectives consistent with our mission. The coalition, or allies, led by France, Britain, and the U.S., along with a few other countries, says it launched these strikes to protect the civilians of Libya. Gaddafi had been targeting protesters in violent attacks, claiming they are trying to bring down his regime. But some countries, like Russia and other Arab nations, spoke out against the U.S. and its allies, saying that the attacks went too far. And now back here in the U.S., some in Congress are asking how long will America be involved in this military action and are looking for a concrete plan. And the next time you're picking a new cell phone service provider, there could be fewer choices. That's because two big names in the industry announced they are merging. The number two provider, AT&T, and the number four provider, T-Mobile. AT&T said it will buy T-Mobile in a $39 billion deal, and that will make it the biggest cell phone company in the U.S. If AT&T and T-Mobile combine, they would have probably the biggest and best combined 4G network out there, which means you could surf the web faster on your smartphone. This business deal still has to be approved by the Justice Department and the Federal Communications Commission, or FCC. Those government agencies are in charge of making sure there's enough competition in the cell phone industry. More competition usually means better prices and service for you, the customer. When there are fewer companies competing, it can create a monopoly, where one company has too much control over setting prices. T-Mobile has competed on price. That's what they're all about. So when you take them out of the equation, it gives companies like AT&T and companies like Verizon license to raise their prices. This deal would also add more cell towers to AT&T's current network. As more people use Apple's iPhone and other high-tech phones, the company needs more airwaves to support the high data usage. The deal, if approved by the government, is expected to take a year to go through. And while President Obama is dealing with the situation in Libya, he's also traveling in South America. The president was in Brazil over the weekend talking about trade relations. He praised the country for pulling itself out of a political and economic slump. This is a country of the future no more. The people of Brazil should know that the future has arrived. It is here now. The president and his family stopped at what's become a symbol of Brazil, the Christ the Redeemer statue on top of a mountain. The first family also visited a shantytown, or slum, in the capital, Rio de Janeiro. President Obama is in Chile today, then it's on to El Salvador. Thanks, Rebecca. The earthquake and tsunami in Japan made it difficult for families to stay in touch, but they found a way. And up next, we'll tell you how. Hi, I'm Darren Kagasaw from The Secret Life of the American Teenager. Just want to give a shout out to Montclair College Prep over in Van Nuys, CA. Um, just want to say hello, and you're watching Channel 1 News. 